Hi, this is Brett Charmette from IBM, and today I'm going to show you the first step in getting the IBM Engineering Integration Hub set up and working. What we need to do first is we need to create something called repositories. And what repositories are is that it is a place where you currently have data stored. And that could be from a number of applications. Any of these applications here could have one repository or more repositories within it. It essentially is like an individual workspace area. And that really is more so application specific. And now to create the repositories, head up to the top of the screen here and click on the repositories tab. Right now, I currently have two repositories set up. I have my demo environment for Doors Next here, and I also have my demo environment for Jira. To create another repository connection, mouse over the new repository connection button, and then select an application from the following link. Today, I'm going to select Doors Requirement Management. Now, go through and fill out this corresponding information. The required information here on the screen is anything with the red asterisk, and that is the URL for the project and also the authentication. There's several methods for authentication here, but what works for me is entering my username and password since I have an admin account. Scrolling down here, here are a few more settings that you can customize as well. After you have all of your settings customized, click on Save. But for now, I'm just going to click on Cancel since I have everything set up here. And then now hopping into my Jira connection. And if you want to add that, make sure you click on the new repository connection button and select Jira from the list. But just showing you what worked for me is entering my URL here. And I had success using my Jira API token that I generated along with the email that I had generated the token from. Looking through the documentation for the integration hub, this is also the recommended method of authentication for Jira as well. Now, there's a few things that I just want to call out on the screen here. Is to turn off a connection, say there's some errors that are happening with one of these repositories here. Well, what we can do is until we troubleshoot those errors, either within the application itself, we can turn this off right here. And then this will say, hey, yeah, I'm about to disable this. Well, that's OK here. To re-able it, all I need to do is click on the slider again. If I want to test the connection to the repository, mouse over to this button that is in the middle of the trash can and the toggle switch. And clicking that will allow you to test the repository connection. To delete the repository entirely, click on the trash can icon. And then it will give you a warning saying, hey, do you want to delete this? And clicking on this checkbox here and clicking delete will delete the repository. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can find my contact information in the description below.